Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikakadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who they eagerly call Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, when you're looking at the gospel, that's the good news of the kingdom. This good news is a secret. It's a mystery. And it's only given to the children of Israel. Now we're going to prove this with the scriptures. See, not just an opinion or some kind of uh, made up idea. Now, when you're going to, let's see here, Matthew, we'll start with Yahawashai, who they eagerly call Jesus Christ. We'll start with him and let him start it off. Matthew 13, around about the 10th verse, he says, And the disciples came and said unto him, why speak thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Now that mysteries, like I said earlier, stands for secrets uh, and mysteries. A mystery is something that's unknown. So he was giving the Israelites secrets. <clears throat> he was giving them unknown information. Okay, and this was, was through his mouth, he said, it was given unto them to know the secrets, not everybody. So you can take that all the way back to Moses. <laughs> Moses writings in Deuteronomy 29 and 29. He says, uh, let's see here, the secret things. So he's going into these mysteries again. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. So these secret things belong to the Israelite, the children of Jacob, the sons of Jacob. Okay, let's go to Amos and get some more. It says... Amos chapter 2 verse well let's go to let's go to 3 first and then we'll go to 2 chapter 3 it says in verse 7 it's Amos 3 and 7 it says surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants the prophets so the secret belongs unto his servants, the prophets. Now, who is the servants, the prophets? Now we go to chapter 2, verse 11. It says, And I raise up for of your sons for prophets and of your young men. For now the right is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, says the Lord. So the Lord is raising up the children of Israel and he's going to do nothing unless he gives them the secret. See, he's not giving nobody else the secret but them. Okay. And so when you go into another one, he says uh, in Psalm, let's get that one. Psalms 147. Starting that verse 19, he said, He showed his word unto Jacob. 
his statues and judgments unto Israel. So those secrets in his word, he's going to show that to Jacob. Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation. See here, in any other nation, the Lord ain't giving them no secrets. He's not giving them the mysteries of the kingdom. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So they don't know the secrets of the Lord. See, when you go into their synagogues and churches, they ain't going to be speaking the secrets of the Lord. They're going to be speaking out of their own heart because he don't give it to them. And Yahweh Shah came and said the same exact thing that Moses was saying about the children of Israel. Yahweh Shah didn't say, now nah, I'm going to give these secrets to the heathen. Now I want you to go give the secrets to the heathen. That's not what he was saying. Because they'll go into Matthew 28 and 19 and try to say, oh, he, he told them to go tell the um, all nations the secrets. And that's a lie. He was only telling them to get the secrets to the Israelites. Look at Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 26. It says, I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. So he was giving these secrets to the Israelites and he was telling them to scatter, I mean, go to the scattered. Go to the scattered because they don't remember who they are. So you got to bring the remembrance to them. You got to alert them on who they are. Okay. So that's what they, he was sending them to do. He was sending them to fulfill Ezekiel 37. Uh, let's go to um, one more before I go to Ezekiel. 37, um, John 7 and 35. It says, Then said the Jews among themselves, Whether will he go? That we shall not find him. He says, Will he go unto the dispersed? among the Gentiles and teach the Gentile. So he was going to the dispersed and he was telling his disciples to go to the dispersed that's uh, among the Gentiles and all nations. That's why when the Holy Spirit came down in Acts 2 and 5, it was Jews from all nations that were receiving that Holy Spirit. It wasn't heathens from all nations. Uh, receiving the Holy Spirit, it was Israelites, okay? Now, when you're going to Ezekiel, this is why he was sending them. It was a specific reason why he was sending them because it was a mystery that he was giving to other people. It was good news, see? But to most people, it was a mystery. And mainly to those Israelites that were living amongst the Gentiles, because the Gentiles didn't have the knowledge of the Lord. So the Israelites living amongst them, they wouldn't have it either. They had to get the good news from the men that was coming, the prophets that was coming with the Spirit. And what would they be doing when they reached those Israelites? I'm going to start at verse 17 and say, And join them to one another, Oh, join them into one stick, meaning put all the tribes on one stick, and they shall become one in your hand. And when the children of your people shall speak unto you, saying, Will you not show us what thou mean by these? See, show us the secret of this situation. Show us what you're talking about. Because we don't know what you're talking about. Why you got these 12 uh, chart uh, signs up with all these tribes on it? And so he says, 
um, in verse 20, he says, And the sticks whereon you writest shall be in your hand before their eyes. And what's the purpose of this? Verse 21 says, And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them to their own land. So this is what it was about, gathering the children of Israel from where they were scattered to, reminding them that you are the Israelites. If you're from the tribe of Judah, you are the descendants of slaves, the so-called blacks and African Americans and Jamaicans and, and Haitians and uh, West Indians. This is who your true nationality is. See, if you from Hispanic uh, South America and from the so-called Hispanics, your true identity is that you from uh, the Northern Kingdom or the 10 tribes that was lost. See, these are the secrets that these people can't receive. Mind you, the secrets in the spirit is connected because the secrets reveal, the, the spirit reveals the secrets. So when you go into Matthew, I think it's John, not Matthew, John 14, I think. Let me double check. 14. Um, John 14. It's, it talks about the world and the spirit. Um, let's see here. 14 and 17. There it is. The water. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, Even the spirit of truth who the world cannot receive. See, because it's a secret. It's a secret given to the Israelites. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for ye dwell with him, and shall be in you, and shall be in you, and he dwell with you, and shall be in you. So this is why the world can't receive it. Because it's good news for the Israelites. Now let's go into how they why one of the main reasons they can't receive it because they are these Gentiles and the Israelites is in their countries and they making money off the Israelites. When you're going to uh, getting to the point, Revelation 13 and 10, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So they can't receive the spirit and the secrets of the Lord because they seeing that they got a punishment coming. You see, and that punishment is something they don't want to see. So the Lord knew that they wasn't going to receive that, that, that punishment. They weren't going to receive that spirit. And that's the separate spirit that's given to the Israelites. And it's good news. See, the gospel of the kingdom is that the slaves and the captives is set free. Okay, let's go to Isaiah 14 and get it from the scripts. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors. See, the, the world and the heathens don't want to receive that. See, it's good news to the Israelites, the captive, the people's in prison, but the slave, uh, the, the warren of the prison, and the officers that's helping the warren run the prison, they don't want to hear that they're going to be out of a job 
and that they gonna have to go into the cells. They don't they don't wanna hear that they got to switch places with the prisoners. The prison guards do not wanna switch places with the prisoners, man. That ain't good news to them. That's hate to them. See, that ain't this false love that's being teached, taught to them as little kids. That God love everybody. See, that's hate to them. Oh, we got to switch place with the prisoner. So you mean to tell me they prisoners and we got to switch place with them and, and be prisoners. See, they don't want to do that. That's why in verse, uh, where is it? Verse, um, is it verse Salakia? It talks about this this Lucifer, which is the Illuminati. Verse uh, 17. See, 17 and 18 is the key, key verses that go right along with verse 2. It says, That made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. See, he got prisoners. And his prisoners have finna switch places with him. And the prison guards don't want to switch places with the prisoners. And who is the prison guards? Verse 18, all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. See, the Chinese got a military and a, gov a government and an army to protect their peoples. The so-called white men, the East Indian, the, the um, Hamites, See, when they really wanted to, they got a military that can de defend themselves. They, they, I said the East Indian, the Arabs. See, all these people got military that can defend each other or themselves. And so this is what they don't understand, that the Israelites are prisoners. They're prisoners to the so-called white men. They're prisoners to the Arabs and the Chinese and to the North Koreans and any country that they go in, they're going to be a prisoner because they don't have no might to save them from their enemies. And all of these people, let's get that in Psalms 83. All of these people are working together against the Israelites. So if, they, if this wasn't a, a factor, they might have some kind of point but these people got a pack. They got a, a, a whole council that's working against the Israelites. This Psalms 83. Now verse 2 tell you that this is talking about the enemies. The enemies of the Israelites. They say they have taken crafty counsel in verse 3 against your people and consulted against your hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom. See, the head slave master, prison guard, the ward of the whole prison, and the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, helping them out with gas stations and all kind of uh, corner stores in Babylon the Great. And even in the Arab countries, they selling these uh, Israelites. Say, oh, Moab and Hagarim, uh, that's the Chinese. Uh, verse 7, Gabal and Ammon, that's the Japanese. And Amalek, that's the small hats that went over there and took that land uh, right along with America. See, so these are the people that's in um, cahoots with each other. And they... Uh, um, teaming up against the Israelites and they're the enemies of the Lord, the enemies of the Israelites. That's uh, Psalms 83, uh, Psalms chapter 2. Why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? They, they, they against the Lord and they're against his anointed, his chosen. His, the Israelites mainly talking about the elect. And so this is what the secrets that these people don't know and will not receive. So only the Israelites is going to receive this good news, these secrets. 
they're not going to receive nothing else. Now, they following these false prophets uh, which getting their doctrine or who, who are giving their doctrine to the wicked men of Israel. See, the false prophets of these so-called small hat peoples and these Christian Zionists, they giving they do this doctrine of God love everybody and he done got rid of the Israelites and he done got rid of his laws. They giving that doctrine to these wicked Israelites, pork chop eating pastors, and they giving it to the other wicked Israelites and the two thirds that the Lord didn't choose to uh, be a part of his 144,000 and be a part of his elect. That's going to get beamed up and rule rule the earth with Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. Okay. So when you get, um, let's see, let's get another one. Uh, Joel chapter 2, because it talks about the same situation. And it tells you that this secret is given to one people. It says, Ye shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord your God, and none else. See, he's not dealing with nobody else but the Israelites. He says, And my people shall never be ashamed, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So if he gonna give the spirit to the sons and the daughters. Your old men shall see, shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. 29 is, is, the, is the major point. It says, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. Now that servant and handmaids goes into bond man and bond woman. Just like in Deuteronomy 28, it says bond man and bond woman. This is what the servants and handmaids, all of this is the same Hebrew word, see, to make it simple. The same Hebrew word used for bond man and bond woman is used for servant and handmaids. Okay? And in those days will I pour out my spirit. So he only pouring out his spirit and giving the secrets to the Israelites. The world cannot receive the spirit of truth and the secrets. You see? Only the Israelites can receive this spirit and this good news because it's bad news to all the other heathens and they will not receive that bad and, and per perceive they won't receive it and they won't perceive it as uh, good news they're going to perceive it as hate they're going to perceive it as discrimination they're going to perceive it as not my God he wouldn't do that I don't want to serve a God like that but you you not realizing that he got you in the kingdom of heaven right now. See, in your kingdom of heaven, he got you on top of the Israelites. He got you with slaves and handmaids right now. See? <laughs> and your people's the one lied to you and ain't gave you the understanding. Well, you understand that you got, uh, your nation got servants and handmaids. See? They, they keeping all the servants and handmaids for themselves because they holding up all the wealth where they can buy personal cooks and personal people to clean their house and uh, do all kind of stuff, tailor-made their clothes and do all kind of uh, high-quality slavery servitude to them. See, they making their own peoples sit around and uh, work as a slave in a in a, in a freaking freaking plantation so that's on them but the uh children of israel is forced to be in this situation they don't have a military and a government or any kind of unity where they can make these decisions see the heathen just can't receive the good news and that good news is only for the israelites it's a secret uh, because most people ain't gonna even want to listen to this uh, good news because they perceiving it as bad news. But I'm gonna leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah.
by Shimmer Kakadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, pushing the truth. Peace of the elect worldwide. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.